guys welcome back to another vlog right now sage is sleeping but as soon as she wakes up we are going to go to the grocery store because i have no food and i went to trader joe's last week and spent like 250 dollars and i have no idea what i bought I hate when i do that so typically i fill this out every week i obviously need to clean this but i like to make the or at least write down the meals for the week so i know what groceries to order and I just have not done that. So I'm just gonna go to the grocery store blindly, which is really stupid and I'm hungry. Again, really stupid. And this is really weird, but I have never taken Sage to the grocery store by myself because I always get grocery delivery because hashtag mom life. We've gone several times with my mom. We go to Trader Joe's every time she comes in town because that's what we think is fun, but we need groceries. And honestly, really why I'm going is because there is a UPS store next to Publix and I have to get something notarized because I have freaking jury duty. And I'm sorry if that makes me a bad citizen to complain about that, I'm sorry, but that is about the last thing on this planet that I want to do right now, especially having a baby. I'm not leaving her, I just, I'm not doing it. So I have to get excused from it. But I have good reason because she is exclusively breastfed and will not take a bottle. Like we have tried so many times, girlfriend just wants the tea. So anyway, I have to get this affidavit notarized and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. And someone is now rolling all over the place. Are you just rolling around your crib now? Like a big, big girl? Oh my goodness. You're big. Do you know that? You're big. Do you wanna to go to Publix? Let's go to Publix, okay, come on. I plan on wearing her at the store so that I can get a cart and have both my hands because the car seat, I feel like it just takes up too much space in the cart and I need the space, so I hope it all goes well. And it's, it stresses me out because she only eats for like a few minutes at a time and it's really frustrating and right now she's like not wanting to eat and it's time for her to eat of course it's like i don't want her to be fussy during or while we're at the store oh my gosh just like my fear of like my fear about going in public is like her like losing it or something and she's so good so like that doesn't happen but it, it could happen i think just like I don't know. The thought of that happening just gives me massive anxiety. That's why I like to stay at home. I'm such a homebody anyway. And I think that I really have, I, I'm pretty sure that I have social anxiety. Maybe you guys figured that out way before I did, but I think it's, I think it's a thing. I'm putting this on now so that when I get her out of the car, I can just plop her right in here and not have to worry about doing this in the parking lot. And she hasn't pooped yet, and that stresses me out because I feel like as soon as we get in the car or get to the store, she's gonna blow her diaper out and it's gonna be everywhere, and I'm not gonna know what to do, and I'm be in the middle of. I just, oh my god, guys, I have problems. through this haul. If you don't know already, we are a fully vegan family. I'm gluten-free, Clark is not, so some things are not gluten-free, but let me just show you very quickly what I got. Blueberries, mushrooms, pineapple, some onions. I love this Kite Hill vanilla yogurt. It is so, so good. And then I got some granola to go with it. And I'm really excited to try these. I like this brand, but I've never seen this one before and they're vegan and gluten-free, which is hard to come by with this kind of thing. So I'm excited about that. Um, I got two of them and then just more uh, maple syrup. I love the Skinny Pop white cheddar. It is vegan. So this is kind of like a little guilty pleasure. Got some carrots, some Brussels sprouts, because I have a balsamic glaze I want to put over those. Um, 
oranges, carrots. I love this brand of vegan cheese. Recently, I've been doing a rice, vegan cheese, and broccoli kind of dish. This is Clark's favorite cereal, so I got him that. Some zucchini, some sparkling water. Spindrift is the way to go. I'm not sure what I've been doing all my life, but I just got onto this Spindrift, and I'm trying all the flavors. I am obsessed. It is a little bit more pricey, but it doesn't have the natural flavors in it, which is not regulated and can mean a lot of different things. So we love this. More mangoes, oranges. I got a ton of bananas. Got soy milk, some veggie broth. Then I needed rice, so I got a few things of organic rice. We love bonza pasta. It's vegan and gluten-free. And then I got some crackers. I got this chocolate milk because it just looked very good and I'm craving it right now. And then I love Mary's gone crackers, so good. I needed some of this sambal sauce. We got some of that. I'm talking so fast. Then just some diced tomatoes. And then I'm really excited about this. There's a company on Shark Tank that did mushroom jerky. Not sure if that's it or not, but I'm excited to try these. Then I got some kale, some green beans, some romaine, and then some frozen broccoli and toilet paper. And that's it. she is down for another nap. So that means it's time for me to eat food and to do laundry and then to maybe sit down on the computer and do something really fast. But before I do any of that, I want some iced coffee. Typically I am a hot coffee kind of girl through and through, but lately iced coffee has been the vibe. I do decaf of course and then i've been doing soy milk of course it's always what i use in coffee i think it just tastes the best even better than oat milk dare i say i know soy milk is better than oat milk sorry and then i do a little maple syrup and that's it but the trick has been my frother i've been using this frother for many many years this is my second or third one because the one before this died because i used it so much but I love a good frother because I make lattes at home like every single day. So it's like this really luxurious elevated coffee experience in your own kitchen every single day because of the frother. This has a cold setting and I've never used it before because I'm like I'll never have a purpose for that until I realized I can make cold foam for iced coffee. When I tell you it takes it to the next level, I'm like really being obnoxious with this. I've been making one. I'm not joking, every single day in the afternoon, it's just my little iced coffee time, which does anyone follow Allison? Does anyone else follow Allison Bickerstaff? She has iced coffee time. So I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm her right now. If you guys don't follow Allison, look up Allison on YouTube. Vlogs are just very peaceful and she's like the sweetest human in the whole world. I like want her in my life. Um, but anyway, let's make some iced coffee. Do you want a little coffee ASMR? Is that not the most satisfying thing? <laughs> Guys, my postpartum hair loss is bad. My hair is literally just, just falling out. I'm getting my hair done, I think next, next week? I think next week I'm getting my hair done. And like, it needs done, obviously. But I'm like, I don't wanna kill it off anymore, but, but. I'm still gonna get it done. <laughs> okay, so I got a couple of boxes in the mail. Let's unbox them together, shall we? First one is from Monet. I don't sell it. I just buy it from a friend because I like to support people and because it's actually really good quality stuff. Long story short, I ordered the, blonde, the Brilliant Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner and when I got my package, 
I only had the shampoo and I was like, but I paid for the conditioner too. So I reached out, they're super nice and was like, okay, we'll go ahead and send you your conditioner, sorry. And then they sent me a shampoo. <laughs> I was like, I already got the shampoo, I need the conditioner. So then they just sent me the conditioner. Now I got a free shampoo out of it, which was really nice. This is from Soul CBD, which I don't know if you guys know, but I love them. I've been working with them for years. I've been taking this stuff for years. Oh, yay. They sent me, wait, can I say this? They sent me a new flavor of the CBD and melatonin gummies. Maybe it'll have launched by the time I actually edit and upload this. It is the chamomile honey flavor which I've had, actually, I've tried this before. It is very, very good. So they just sent me another bottle of this. I've had a code for years, so I'll make sure that I share that below for you guys. Soul CBD is literally the best CBD. It's, the company is so great, and you can even go on their website and look, they have third-party testing and blah, 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 and the quality is really, really great. I'm so excited for this package by um, Beauty by Earth, is that what it's called? Yeah, Beauty by Earth, and they sent me a little PR package. It's self-tanner, it's non-toxic, vegan self-tanner. Let's see, this is the face tanner. Can you even see that? I feel like I'm a beauty blogger doing the whole like this thing, but that actually works. <laughs> Facial sunscreen application kit for the bronzer, which I believe is this. Oh my gosh. I've been thinking about making a video of like a postpartum glow up because I, I feel like I really, really need one. I need my hair done. I want to be tan. I want to work out. I want my nails done. Like I feel like I need these kind of little things to make me feel better about life right now. I might make a video about that. If you want that kind of video, comment below. This package I'm super excited about too. This is from a company called we are AMA or we are AMA. I don't know which one it is. It's A-M-M-A. -A. And they make nursing covers that are really, really freaking cute. Oh, this is cute. It says, you've got this, mama. So cute. Oh my God, I love this. I was just talking recently on my Instagram about how I was with my mom and we were having a little girl's day and I had to feed Sage in public, which is a thing that I haven't really done. I've done around like family and friends and just like, covered up and whatever, because that's just what I feel most comfortable with. But I did feed Sage in a restaurant. I fed her while we were out in this little like open area kind of thing. And I felt it gave me like a confidence with it. I was thinking like, it would be so nice to have something like this, which is like a little ponch poncho. Is that the word? That's not the word, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Where it's actually fashionable and you put this on and you have coverage all around you, but it's breathable and you can like easily see your baby and get to your baby without feeling like you're gonna drop the blanket or drop the cover off of you or whatever. So I'm so excited that they sent this to me. I am so, so grateful. And the material is very, very good quality. Look at that. This is the natural color. And then they also sent me, this is the honey color. I love this kind of color. It's a little bit lighter than a camel color. So yeah. Look at that. And then it's it's like fashionable, but you can feed your baby. You're so big. You're so big. Ready? <laughs> wow. Look at you, big girl. We can have breakfast together now. Sagey officially is in her big girl seat. So I can have my breakfast with her. She's gonna be eating in a few weeks. <laughs> she loves this. So we're getting all the things set up and I think I'm gonna do a whole video on starting solids and kind of the approach we're taking and, and my list of things that I'm doing to prepare and things that I'm buying and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to see that video, let me know. I feel so bad eating in front of her because she is drooling every time that I eat.
had to clean the sheets because this morning she pooped through her jammies when we were snuggling this morning and I just washed them like three days ago. This is our new mattress that we are obsessed with and I do not say that lightly. I really, really don't. We got the new avocado green mattress and we are obsessed. We ended up getting the king pillows as well and we actually got the pillow topper on this and it is literally the most comfortable mattress I've ever felt in my entire life. I wasn't sure if the pillow topper was going to be too soft, but it's it's perfection. It is so comfortable. The day that the mattress came in, her and I took a nap together and we slept for two hours straight. Two hours straight. Clark loves it. She loves it. I love it. So thank you so much to Avocado for sending us our mattress and they actually gave me a code for you guys. You can get $125 off a mattress of your choice. And Sage actually has an Avocado mattress in her crib. So we are definitely an Avocado mattress family now. Not only is this mattress the most comfortable thing in the entire world, but like I said, it is vegan and it is 100% certified organic, which we love. And not only that, they are a very sustainable brand and they make their stuff right here in the US. So having something that is non-toxic to sleep on is super important not only in the mattress but our pillows as well and especially now having a baby I'm just so conscious of that kind of thing and what we are spending hours and hours on every single day that we are safe and we are not getting any toxicity up in our bodies huh they have a ton of certifications as well I'll make sure that I link everything below for you guys along with my code so it's plantful Alex you can get $125 off a product of your choice now I'm gonna go ahead and make the bed so that I can take a nap with her at some point today <laughs> Okay, we will end the vlog by doing a little five month update, which I'm curious how many of you have babies around the same age as Sage. I just think it's so fun to connect with you guys and talk about our babies. Okay, five month update. She's like five months and a couple weeks right now. It is crazy how quickly things change and I'll probably say this with every age, but this has been my favorite age so far and there's special stuff about each stage, you know? But this is the stage where she is just getting bigger and just doing things that make her seem less baby-like, if that makes any sense. Five months is where they're like, you know, still like grabbing onto things and reaching things and rolling around but not crawling yet, not getting into too much. You know, you can still hold them like a baby and they're not like too wiggly, if that makes sense. Okay, let's talk about sleep training. So the more that I've been looking into it, the more I just want to lean into how I feel about it more and not what other people say I should do or um, think that I have to, I don't know, that I have to follow a certain thing. I don't know if any of this is going to make sense, but I have a lot of thoughts about the whole sleep training thing and the, the outcome is what I want. And I know the method, it's just like a short period of time for the most part that you're doing it to get the results that you want. Long story short, we are kind of just doing our own method of that and kind of pulling little pieces from like taking care of babies, which is more so the Ferber method, which is the cry it out. So we're like not really doing that, but kind of we're basically implementing the pop-ins, which it's like where you go into the room after three minutes, then you go after five minutes, then after 10 minutes. And that's the longest that I'm allowing her to cry is 10 minutes. And I've only had to do it a couple times. So I think I think I wanna make a whole video on the like what we are actually doing because I'm still picking her up. I'm still gonna feed her if she's hungry. The goal for us is basically to allow her to fall asleep without my baby, my baby. Is to fall asleep without her passy or like if it falls out, she's able to soothe herself. Right now it's like us just getting up and putting it back in and putting it back in. And she's been in her crib the last week without being in the bassinet at all, which is so sad to me, but her crib is super close to her room. So we're just kind of transitioning and I want her to be able to get those long stretches back because at like two and three months, she was doing 10 plus hours completely straight, never waking up. And then the four month sleep regression happened and things completely changed. And, and it really isn't that bad. Like her waking up was her getting up to eat and then she would basically go right back down to sleep. We, knock on wood, but we have not really had the issue of her just being awake in the middle of the night. Like she, she'll get up, eat, and then go back to sleep. So that was basically the four month sleep regression. It was just so different from what we were starting to get used to with the super long stretches. We want her to be able to fall asleep without her 
pacifier in and get those long stretches back and the ounces that she's getting in the middle of the night. What I would like to do is to have those ounces be put towards the daytime and her not like need it at night but I'm still going to give it to her if she needs it. So it's, we're definitely doing a more gentle approach. We've only been doing this for the last like four nights and the last two nights she has fallen asleep completely on her own without her passy. And last night she actually found it and put it back in, which has never happened. So we're definitely getting progress. She's having longer stretches. Oh, and we're still co-sleeping in the morning. What I'll do is if she does get up at like five or six, then I'll just get her, put her in bed with us and then we'll sleep till um, like 7.30, sometimes eight. What I've been trying to do is get up at the 12 hour mark from when she went to sleep. So if she goes to bed at 7.45, I try to start the day at 7.45 in the morning. She already has two teeth. She got those at four months, so she got them pretty early. And she's definitely acting like she's teething a lot more recently. She's starting to drool a little bit more and she just constantly wants something in her mouth, which I know is normal. So we are starting solids soon. We're waiting until she is six months. So I thought about doing it the week before she turns six months or the week after so it lands on a Sunday so that Clark can be there and it can be like a whole family thing. Because when you start solids, you have to give them the food in the morning in case they have a reaction. So you have the full day to see if they react and stuff. So a Sunday for us as a family would just make the most sense. I still haven't fully educated myself on giving her solids, I'm waiting to the last minute, but I think I am gonna try to take a course over the next couple weeks and then I did order a book and I might do another whole video on what we're doing and how I've been prepping for starting her on solids. So if you want that, let me know. She's definitely paying attention to when I'm eating and drinking things like, and she'll drool as she watches me and it's so sad. So it's definitely an indicator that she is ready for solids. She started a new thing where she starts to give kisses. It's so sweet. Can you give mommy kisses? Seiji, hey, I'm gonna give mommy, you, yeah, you know. Hey, can you give mommy kisses? You're not gonna do it. Okay, well, she's not gonna do it. And this girl just wants to sit up. She'll cry when I lay her down and she'll just flip right over to her belly, but she gets so mad, she just wants to sit up, but she's not fully sitting up by herself yet. And she gets sad when she's not sitting up. It's really funny. But she loves sitting in her up seat, which has been a really great purchase. So she is rolling from her back to her belly. Like every time I put her on her back, she flips over now onto her belly, but she won't go from her belly to her back, which I think is what normally happens first, I think. She still has her cradle cap. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with cradle cap. It's not like affecting her in any way. It just is like this dry scaly skin on her scalp, but I don't know. They say it can last up to a year or something, but I've been trying to use a little silicone thing and scrubbing it. I don't put coconut oil on it as much as I probably could because it does help when I do it. But yeah, she still, she still has a lot of it. And as far as her baby eczema, so I cut out wheat completely to see if that was linked to her eczema because I have a sensitivity to it. Still not sure. We can do a test when she's six months, which is like a little heel prick. And we'll do blood work, which I really would love to avoid. Um, so I think I should do the sensitivity thing before her because whatever I'm sensitive to, it's gonna be affecting her. And if we're similar in that way, I don't know, I feel like that just makes more sense for me to do it. I don't know, I guess she could have her own stuff, but I don't know. That's about it. I can't believe she's about to be half of a year. Like that's just absolutely insane to me. She's literally the best thing in the world. She is such, such a good baby. At least for the first one, I have a really good baby. Well, thanks for watching our vlog, guys. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the day, wherever you are in the world, and we will see you in the next one, huh? All right, say bye, guys. Bye. Say bye, guys.